Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have some bad news. <laughs> so, I took my time and I thought, hey, I'm going to spend some time in this forest and grind before the next episode. I didn't hit the record button. I thought I hit the button. It's a hotkey on my keyboard and I didn't hit it. So, oh, I got everybody up to level 30. And also got some new friends for the team. I caught a bunch of different things, a bunch of different Coromon that are available in this swamp. So for anybody that's brand new to this game, I'm sure we'll see a bunch more coming through the Soggy Swamp. But when you get to the Soggy Swamp, let me know what your first Coromon was that you caught. I would be super excited. I'm super excited to know. I want to know. I would love to know. Um, but let's just go over our team real quick. So we have Mudma because our Drupal evolved into a Mudma. Love this guy. He looks really cool. Uh, he's got Chomp, Sticky, Sticky Saliva, Feelers, and Sidewalker. Shadewalker, we haven't got anything new for him. Uh, still has resistance, so he's good against special attackers. We have the Fridge with the Nimble ability, Scratch, Static Fur, Revenge, and Sumo Stance. Uh, I found a TM somewhere. I forgot where in one of the previous videos, and I realized that you can get Sumo Stance, so I gave it to him. So he has a big bulky way of, uh, I believe this thing raises attack or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it makes them take, sorry, it makes them take 50% less damage from physical attacks for four rounds, which is kind of wild if you think about it. And then we got our boy Lumasect. I, I, I put Lumasect and Mudma. I left them with no nicknames for now until I come up with nicknames for them because I don't know what I want to nickname them yet. And since I can nickname them whenever I want, uh, I'm waiting for that. So yes, our, our, our Lumasect has evolved and now we have a final form for it. I'm super excited about it. It looks really cool. It still has the bright light ability. It's looking great. We also got a brand new member of the team called Squidma. Squidma is a fire squid. It's a fire type Coromon. Interesting. Cinder, Mighty Roar, tail, Tailspin, Smokescreen. Uh, I gave it the Lazy Gem for the heck of it. Flare and Take, so if it gets hit by a fire type attack, it's going to raise its special attack and make it do more damage with its special attacks. Pretty cool, right? All right, so then we also have Watsamata with his vaccinated, which means that he can't get poisoned. We have Inspect Scent, Deep deep Cut, Double Slash, and he learned Berserk at level 31, which is pretty cool. He still hasn't evolved, and neither has my starter yet. So Watsamata and DeFridge still haven't evolved yet. I'm, I'm feeling okay about that. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. So let's see. And then we have Spare, Spare, Sierra Face? Sierra Face, I think is how you pronounce it. It's just sitting in the back. It's a good special attacker for right now, so I'm going to keep it around. It's a ghost type. Uh, I feel like it's a good way to hit things around. But I got deep enough in the swamp to find this shack, and in this shack, there are four spots to plant berries. How freaking cool is that? This dude gives you some new ones that you haven't seen. Any, haven't seen. Uh, I'm going to go plant those next time I get the chance, and I basically got all the chests in the area, and that's all I've done. Something else that I find really weird, maybe you guys can figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. I didn't know what this log was for. I have no idea what this log is for. And I can't push it into the water unless we get a cool, like, surf ability. I don't, I don't know. Unless we get a cool surf ability, I'm not really sure. Anyway, we're going to move on through. We're going to move on through the, uh, the stinky, the soggy forest here. Uh, I know the way out. I, I, if I can remember right. I know the way out. And I've been grabbing mushrooms this entire time so that I can make sense later on. I want to make some potent sense in endgame. So I'm going to collect as many shrooms as I can. Uh, but we're going to move on to the next area. I think this is the last area of the swamp. If I had to guess, three is that magical rule in most video games. So I'm hoping that uh, that is the case. Ooh, this way? Nice. Everybody's level 30 now, and I'm recording again, so I don't care what level they're at now, but I was trying to do my best to keep everybody at level 30 before I stopped recording. And I felt as though I wouldn't, I got squid mob by the end of my my uh, my, my training session. So uh, yeah, I didn't, um, <laughs> I didn't want to risk leveling everybody else up because if I did, then yeah, I, I didn't want to risk leveling everybody else up while I was trying to level up squid mob. So we'll level up squid mob today. That's, that's my, that is my, um, that was my hopes and dreams for today. Oh good, okay, I was like, I didn't battle everybody in this area, did I? Because I came here forward to get everybody's levels up and give them like, I was letting them eat the burr fruits so they got a lot more experience. Yeah, man, I, like I said, I wanted to get, I wanted to record it and put it in front of the video at like, you know, a little training montage and do some more editing, but I didn't get the chance to do it and I apologize for that guys, but it's okay. We'll have more, we'll have plenty more where that came from. Also, this is Mudma, look at this man, look at this unit. Drupal, he just went from Drupal to Maw. Like, I love that. Mud Maw, dude, let's let's go. 
I also love that he's a potent one too, or they, it's a potent one, which means that it's gonna get more, it's gonna have more, it's gonna be able to unlock more potential, which means we can really put it into that special defense stat and use it as a special defensive wall, which would be really nice. I mean, he's, it's pretty bulky now as it is. Like it just has a lot of HP, I feel. It's a big, it's a big meat shield. Like this is like our special wall. And then we have Watsumata's, our physical wall. Uh, Duff Ridge kind of takes all hits pretty well, except for the ones he's weak to, obviously. Speaking of potential, we're gonna put that right into its special defense. We're gonna put it right into its special defense. Because it's starting to hit a little bit harder now. Ooh, Squidmon wanted to do some potential. Uh, I'm just gonna put this right into special attack. I think Squidmon's gonna be a special attacker, hands down. I, unless it somehow becomes a physical attacker. I doubt it though. What is a Jella? Are you water type? You are water type, okay. Ooh, you're weak to foul stuff. Nice. All right, let's put out feelers real quick. Confusion? Ooh, what is this? Hazy. Oh, okay. Uh, I think hazy in this game actually makes your, your, it makes your abilities cost more. Yeah, look, it makes your abilities cost more. So Chomp is now instead of two, it's four. This is three, this is six instead of three. This is 10 instead of five. Holy crap. Yeah, hopefully this Chomp knocks it out. Faint squirts? Oh! All right, no, we resist that. I think we're fine. Got him. Got him. Got him. Look at that. Beautiful. 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 Nice little 500 there. Good. Squidmon's getting some experience. Jellish again. Oh! It's the big one. Ooh. Okay. Well, I can hit it with Chomp and see what it does. Oh, come on. We're taking that. We have an ability for it and everything. Although, that did way more damage than the first one did. No longer hazy. Yes. Canal fruit. Yes. Nice. I didn't get, I didn't get, I didn't have to worry about getting a status. So when you use a canal fruit, in case you guys didn't read it, it, it does heal 70%, but there's also a chance that you'll get a status effect while eating. So luckily we didn't get one that time. Oh, but he did it again. Okay. Let's just hit him with chomp. Ooh, sting. Ow. Hold this. Oh, not enough. Canal fruit. Oh no! Get a status. Yo, we actually got a status. You got cursed. What does that mean? I don't know what cursed is. I forget. I gotta look that up after. All right. I don't want to use feelers right now. I'm gonna use chomp for now. It's the cheapest move we have. How much does this do? It does 29 damage. Okay, we can take one more of those. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We can take one more of those. It's gonna hurt, but we can take one more. Ooh, we did, we did that much better than... Maybe the other one was just a high roll? Is that a thing in this game? Nice. Dude, Mudma is holding his own 1,500 experience. Let's go. I love that. Flying kick? <laughs> he also has scary vision and beat up, which is interesting too. Maybe he was meant to be a physical attacker. I think he's meant to be a physical attacker. That's very funny. Flying kick. What is this? 95% accuracy, 95 power. Uh, you attack the target with a powerful flying kick and increase the user's critical hit chance by one stage. What? We are enabling that. Yes, we are. Oh, what do we get rid of? Do we get rid of Chomp? Or Shade? What do we get rid of? 40? 40, 40, they both do 40. What is the ups by doing this? Has a 20% chance to haze the opponent. Has a 10% chance to make the opponent bleed. I think we can get rid of Chomp now. Although it's nice to have. I think it's time to get rid of Sticky Saliva. Because Feelers are still really good. I think it's time to get rid of Sticky Saliva. And we'll put the Flying Kick on for now. Scary Vision is pretty good too. It lowers special defense by two stages. This would be pretty good to put against a boss, honestly, I think. All right, 307 for, for Squidma. No longer Hazy. Pro Shell. Ooh! Oh, that's a potent one too, I think. Oh, it's standard. That's what it looks like normally? I guess I've only seen them potent then. I remember a color scheme, but that, I guess that was like its regular, yeah, this must, this must be its regular look. Interesting. I want to hit it with flying kick, but I need to switch out because I'm not going to be able to live any of these attacks. So let's swap up. I know this guy is what, ice? This guy's ice. So what is he weak to? He's weak to fire and heavy, whatever heavy is in this game. Um, we can go into, it resists ice and, it resists ice and water, but it doesn't resist cut. So we can probably, oh, you know what? We're just going with Lumisect. We're just going with Lumisect now. I like, you know what though? I like Mudma, Mudma a lot. Well, I like Mudma more. Um, 
charge that a W to its name and be like, this thing is now Mud Maw. Icicle Spikes? I took that. Trap cannot leave the battlefield. So many of these moves. I've seen a lot of these in my training session. I've seen a lot of these when I was training my Quorum on up, uh, where there's a lot of moves that just like keep you in the battle, which is interesting. Frost Web. Ooh, that's new. Okay, that's new for me. I didn't know what that was. So it has a move that increases speed. That's very cool. That's a lot of status moves. So if it stopped me from escaping, then it got rid of got my speed down too. Interesting. Did it really have nothing it could have hit me with? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, regardless, thank you, Gustavo, for that awesome fight. Right, a promise is a promise. Just er, maybe go back to the way maybe go back the way you came. <laughs> Just don't look over here. Thanks for the eleven hundred, my guy. Alright. So I got the stuff that was over there. Uh, I should probably heal right now. I've been using my... Oop, don't want to do that. Okay, I've been using my potions a lot more now. Now that I felt... Uh, you know, we can do this. I have more cakes. I'm hoping that there's... A, there's a, so, since you can make sense in this game, you can make sense from the mushrooms here, I'm kind of hoping that you can make cakes from the berries that you find at some point in the game. That would be really cool. I think that would be super awesome and I would love to see that. Um, I don't know when it would be available, but if it is available, please let it be a thing. I would love that. No, you... No, well, we already fought. I don't know why you stopped to talk to me. Uh, maybe I pushed the button when I was running. That was my bad. Nice. Oh, this is the exit. Okay, good, great. Yeah, this episode is going by a lot better than I thought. I mean, again, I apologize for, like, not showing the training session, but here's the team, guys. I wanted to get to the level 30. I felt like I was getting my butt kicked in the last episode, so I was like, you know what? Let me train up a little bit, but I promise next time to hit the record button when I do it uh, because that it was necessary. Oh, this is a normal attack? Interesting. It's worth seven. How much damage does it do? I want to use it. Cloudburst, we can eat this. Mud Maw, you got this. Maybe this is a different way I could spell one, and it would be a cooler nickname, or would look like a cool. Accuracy went down, nice flying kick. <laughs> no, not toxic skin. Oh, we got poisoned. Wait, what got raised? Critical hit chance. Nice, awesome. So maybe we can crit with, maybe we can crit with Chomp now. That'd be super cool. I also like that water types are weak to foul moves because if you foul water, like if you think of putting foul stuff in water, it makes it bad water. Basically, I really like the idea of that. Very cool, very cool concept. I'm gonna go straight for Chomp here. Hoping for a crit. No crit there. Face slap, oh no! What? <laughs> no damage! Still suffering from the effects of poison. Wait, does poison take away my, does poison also take away my SP? Again, I need to look this up in the books in between episodes. Yo, he's bleeding, yes! Yo, feel me all you want, baby. All I am is goo. All I am is goo, baby. Suffering effects of poison. It does. It loses. You lose two SP. Okay. Cool. 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 So it's just almost like I'm using two. It's almost like I'm using two ch ch uh, chomps every turn. No, I missed. That's the worst. I'm gonna need to heal soon, for sure. Hurt by the wounds, though. Let's go. Chomp one more time. Ooh, could crit. No crit. All right. He might go down to the. He might go down to the bleed right here, actually. Poison, poison. The Juba fruit. No. Oh, that's so unsatisfying. All right. Uh, we can probably get away with one more. I almost want to just eat a combi fruit, a combi combi cake. Fifteen and five. Fifteen and fifteen. Forty and twenty. That sounds more. Yeah, that's more right. Let's do that. Forty twenty. Mudma is a big boy. He needs a lot of cake. Speaking of cake, he's got a lot of cake in that butt. Face oh, don't you dare. Get out. Oh. All right. Suffering from effects of poison. So I've noticed, and I've asked this, I asked this in one of my other earlier videos too, if like the if the statuses go away, and they do. Because during oh, we need to ha 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 ha. Oh, come on. Why are you gonna miss, man? Should we go for another flying kick? Is my crit chance still up? Oh. It is. My crit chance is still my my accuracy is down though. Um, I'm gonna go for Chomp again. There we go. Face slap. No bleed this time. I thought he was bleeding. Does bleed only last one other turn? 
Because he's not bleeding anymore. Maybe he just got lucky and it went away early. Who knows? Oh, come on. With the, uh, one accuracy drop is always the worst, man. Come on, Mudmaw. I'm using the I'm, I'm using the most accurate move I have, too. That's upsetting. Okay. I'm about to just hit him with flying kick again. He had to rest this turn, so I might as well hit him with flying kick one more time. Oh, if that hit, I would have I would have cried. I would have been like, you jerk me right now! I would have been like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Alright. We only got two left. I'm gonna go for one more chomp. Hopefully we just hit here. Oh, don't knock me down, please. Don't knock me down. I got knocked down. <laughs> oh my god, poor Mudma. Getting beat up by this simple patter bit, man. Alright, we're swapping out. We're switching. Oh my goodness, we're switching. Let's throw what's some Mata. Poor Mudma. He was taking hits, though. I'm just kind of sad that I couldn't do anything. I was trying my best there. I couldn't do anything, man. Ugh. Unfortunate. It, that, that poison was that poison was not helping. I'm gonna go for Berserk. It's our new move. If I remember right, Berserk. Wait, was that a? Did it do damage? I didn't know Berserk did damage. Did I misread it? What does Berserk do? Ooh, Tattle is a different color here. Is this one potent, maybe? I, I didn't get to read it. It went too fast. What was that? It, it did say... Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. My accuracy went... Oh, my, this accuracy has no target for Berserk. Wait, what do you mean it has no target for Berserk? Why is he still Berserking? Wait, no! What do you mean? There's a target right <laughs> there! Oh, hold on! Wait a minute, what? There's a target right in front of you! What's the matter? What's the matter with you? Oh my goodness, what is going on? What? Alright, we gotta read this move one more time. The user goes berserk for four rounds, increasing the damage dealt for each successful attack. Damage returns to normal when the attack when the user calms down. Why did you do why did you do that? First of all, you scared the crap out of me. Okay. We're gonna try this again, real quick. What was that all about? Oh no, I healed the wrong one. Oh. If Watsumata goes down here, I'm gonna be really sad. Okay, he's fine. Dude, my accuracy has gone down though. Like I need to, oh, the Canal Fruit, I forgot about that. Dude, Cloud Burst does damage and accuracy? Come on, man. I'm minus four accuracy right now? Because it's been three turns not attacking the one thing in front of me. Am I going to hit? Yes, there we go. Jeez. Gone berserk. All right. He has to take a rest because his SP is lower. I need to lower. I need to slow down the tech speed. Use berserk again. It missed. God. I am minus four accuracy. I shouldn't complain. I am minus four accuracy. I know this. I shouldn't complain. Oh, come on. Please. What? Come on, please, man. Please, just a hit. Got him, here we go. Done, heard. That's four turns, you should calm down after this one. Goodness gracious. All right, what are we doing? I'm, I'm putting it into, Jesus, I don't know. I'm putting it into defense, I don't know. Oh boy, 103. Level 19, all right, I'll take that. Faint bursts. This is just like a new fight. Uh, since he is in a burst directly at the opponent's attack, inflicting damage. Okay. Ten percent chance to burn. This one doesn't have a chance to burn. It looks like these are the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. I don't think I'm gonna do tail swipes. I'm gonna do yeah, because this one's forty. This one's seventy. This one costs five. This one costs three. So then I can choose whether or not I want to use a small attack or a big attack. Lampire. Quick rest to get my SP back. Let's go. Am I, have I calmed down, though? Oh, no. I've, I don't think I've calmed down yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank God. All right. Double slash. I may be, my, I may be minus five accuracy right now. Oh, please take him out one shot. Yes! Wonderful. Goodness gracious, man. Wow. What a... Dude, these trainers are... 
hard, dude. Holy crap. The trainers are really hard, dude. I am humbled. Yeah, okay. Get out of here, you pain in the ass. Pain in my ass, dude. All right, let's go through this gate. Oh? Mm. Oh, we made it to Pawberry! Is that a floating chest in the corner over there? Oh! You there, young one! Yeah, you didn't spot you didn't spot a lost old man on your way here, did you? Long white hair, red robe, responds to the name Hugh? Does that ring a some sort of a bell? Not really, but did you say Hugh? I'm looking for him as well. Then you should know! There's a good chance Hugh could be in danger. Was that a pun as in like Hugh as in like you could be in danger? For the last month, the ghost, they, they totally overrun this town. The hauntings are getting worse and worse. Nobody has any idea how to drive away these spirits and how they must have gotten Hugh. Please, stranger, jo join our search. Of course, where should I start? Uh, we have one possible lead. Dero Dorody? Doretta? Doretta, that's the word. Doretta, Hugh's wife. Last I heard, she stumbled upon something strange. Can you check on her for me? She should be in the wine cellar of the large manor north in town. Hurt, no problem, man. Meanwhile, I'll continue searching. Just in case, no nook and cranny will remain uncovered. We must find Hugh. We must, we must. I heard. You guys heard him, guys? Titan Task Force uh, quest updated. We have got to go find Hugh and go find Hugh's wife in the wine cellar. So we'll do that next time in the next episode. You guys, enjoy your day. Have a good one. Don't forget to like the video. Share it. Uh, comment down below something generic if you'd like. I don't really care what it is. Just something. Anything is nice. Also, if you enjoy indie games, hit that subscription button. And if you also want to see more of this Quarimon playthrough, hit that subscription button. On top of it, if you want to see indie games live or this live in the future when I do battles with it, because I'm pretty sure I might. Maybe. We'll see. We'll find out. Regardless, follow me on twitch.tv slash rules, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me.